forces, question four. A swimmer dives off a boat, look at figure one. What two factors determine the momentum of the swimmer? It's worth two marks, and they've already given you the two bullet points here. So interestingly, most students will, will write two things for this because they've already got the two spaces there. If they hadn't put those numbers in, an awful lot of students would have only written one thing. So this is all about momentum. Um, we know that momentum, momentum equals uh, velocity times mass, or mass times velocity. So they are the two things that will affect it. It's unlikely in 2023 that you'll get this exam question because you'll be given that equation. So really this, this question is asking you, you know, what, are the, what is the equation and what are the two things? So velocity, if you're at speed in there, uh, you might be okay. Um, velocity is better because it has a direction. The reason we remember that is velocity looks like an arrow, like it's got direction, whereas speed, we have no clue which way is speed. Um, is, is pointing, an S doesn't really point, whereas a V definitely points downwards. Okay. Question B, what is the unit of momentum? So it is likely, you may well get this question. So again, we know that momentum equals, uh, let's do it, so mass times velocity. I don't know why I wrote it the other way around earlier, but it doesn't really matter. Mass times velocity, we know that. Uh, now what we can do is we can actually, if we know an equation for something, we can use that to derive the units. So I need to find out what is the unit of momentum. And I've got to tick one box only for this one. So it's a tick box, so absolute worst case, you could always, uh, you could always guess. Um, but we don't need to guess for this. We know that we're looking for that. Momentum has got the units of kilograms. Uh, sorry, mass has got the units of kilograms. Velocity is in meters per second. So I'm looking for something with kilograms, meters, and seconds in it. So it's likely it's going to be that one. Um, because I've got kilogram meters per second. A, another an, an, a question they might have given you is they might have given you uh, kilograms per meters per second. I wouldn't have been surprised at all to have seen that. Um, it is this one here. The reason it's this one here is because kilograms times that, if we think back to how we do that in algebra, kilograms, it would just be that, kilogram meters per second, and there it is. Okay, so it's that one there. It would be this one here if it was kilograms divided by meters per second. Okay, which it's not in this case, it's times, so we know it's not that as well. But we can instantly discount quite a few of those units. Right, let's look at part C. The boat was stationary. Well, let's just remind ourselves what that means. That means velocity equals zero, it's not moving. As the swimmer dives forwards, the boat moves backwards. Use the idea, so we've got to use the idea of conservation momentum to explain why the boat moves backwards. Okay, so the swimmer dives forwards, the boat moves backwards. It's worth four marks. One, two, three, four. If we remember whatever we see an explain, and explain really is a describe first, plus add details. So we've got to, first of all, we've got to describe something. Well, the first thing to describe is the conservation momentum. Conservation means uh, maintain, means the same before as afterwards. So conservation momentum uh, means that momentum before, in fact, let's go for total momentum before, total momentum before equals total momentum after. Okay, so I've described what conservation momentum means. What else do I know? Well, I know the boat was stationary at the beginning, which means the total momentum before, so total momentum before, uh, total momentum of of what boat plus swimmer before 
equals zero. Okay, so we know that initially it was zero. Well, that means as the person as the person jumps forward, as swimmer moves forward. They have uh, momentum forwards. They have positive momentum. Okay? So as the swimmer moves forwards, they have positive momentum above zero. But we know that the momentum in total must equal zero. This means the boat must have negative momentum of the same size. To, uh, to cancel out the swimmer. Okay, so that means it, it's got to move backwards. Okay, so the boat has to have negative momentum of the same size. So negative momentum, i.e. move back. So negative momentum, it has to move backwards, moves forwards, they have positive momentum above zero, we could put examples on there, e.g. has 10 and the other one has minus 10, uh, but that's plenty there, you're going to get all four marks for that. Okay, uh, question D. Explain what would happen to the motion of the boat if there were more people in the boat when the swimmer dived off. So explain what would happen to the motion of the boat, motion, movement. The boat, if there were more people on the boat when the swimmer dived off. Okay, it's worth two marks, so one, two. So the first thing is we're going to describe um, what happens. Well, if, the, if there's more movement, what's going to happen? Well, we can imagine there the boat is not going to, if you, if you stand on a, hopefully you can imagine that the boat's not going to move backwards as fast. Um, if you're stood on a skateboard and you jump forwards, the skateboard flies backwards really fast. Uh, if you jump out of a car, um, a stationary car, jump forwards, the car doesn't move back. Um, if at all, because its its mass is far greater. So the boat would move back, backward, slower. Okay, it's not going to have such a big impact. This is because the boat now has now has a greater mass. Now has greater mass. And momentum, remember, equals mass times velocity. So as times velocity. So as mass goes up, velocity will go down. Okay. Uh, right, I hope that was useful.